if we go back a year or so, the fact that he took such a hard stance and had enough guts to tell the media, uh, my body, my choice, it, I think it goes back to that, that he started to wear, I guess, his version of the scarlet letter, that yes, he became a marked man and someone that would be described as a heretic. Steve Kim, the Korean Cosell, is a Charles Barkley groupie. M uh, the NBA on TNT is his favorite television show. Uh, and so I want Steve to come on and defend Charles Barkley for calling for, Ky uh, for Kyrie to be suspended over a tweet, a tweet with no words. Uh, Steve, uh, what did you think of your boys from NBA TV last night? I'm um, from well, NBA on okay. TNT last night. This is slander what you're saying. No, first of all, NBA on TNT is the only thing I'll watch on a regular basis related to that league. And yes, I am a Charles Barkley fan. However, that does not mean across the board in uniformity do I agree with everything he says. Okay, let me put it to you this way. I love Jimmy Johnson. I think he's the greatest coach we ever had at the University of Miami. But I still hold the 87 Fiesta Bowl against him. You should have ran that ball to Alonzo Highsmith and they would have beat Penn State. <laughs> Last night was Charles Barkley's Vinny Testaverde game. I'm sorry, and I get it. There's one thing I never say because it's so pretentious. Well, I don't agree with everything such and such says. Well, yeah, you're not supposed to. I mean, that that's the height of arrogance to think that anyone is supposed to be in lockstep with your thoughts and comments. Now, with that said, Charles Barkley and the rest of that crew – they can't say anything else. Under their position with corporate legacy media and the salaries they make, the safest position you can take in NBA journalism and media is to just go against Kyrie Irving in anything. If Kyrie Irving said the earth was flat, oh, by the way, he did that already, All right, that bad example. If he said the sky was purple, disagree with them and you're on the right side. If he said that cows could fly, you know what? Disagree with them, okay? And he could say anything, but as long as you're on the opposite side of whatever he says, that's the approved messaging. And, and that's very unfortunate that even a guy like Charles Barkley, who has FU money and FU status, has to capitulate. What do you think of my assertion that this is really about the jab and not about the tweet? There's a lot of truth to it. I think it goes back to it. If we go back a year or so, the fact that he took such a hard stance and had enough guts to tell the media, uh, my body, my choice, it, I think it goes back to that, that he started to wear, I guess, his version of the scarlet letter, that yes, he became a marked man and someone that would be described as a heretic. Okay, and that, that simply is not acceptable. But I have a question for all these people badgering Kyrie Irving now. In essence, aren't you telling him, ironically, to just shut up and dribble? I mean, isn't he allowed to have his own opinion whether you agree with it or not? It, 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 the, what, I, what I have a problem with is whether you agree or disagree with Kyrie, the questioning from certain members of the media, it, it's more like an, an inquisition than just stating, like, I want to know what your opinion is and what your reasoning is. I'm not trying to investigate you and try to turn state's evidence or try to change your opinion. I see way too much of this as it relates to the questioning of that particular individual. Okay? I'm, like, when I interview somebody, Jason, I don't know about you, I actually want to get your thoughts. I'm not trying to change your opinion. I actually just want to see what do you think about certain things. Like I interviewed Buddy McGirt yesterday, world famous trainer, Hall of Fame boxer, one of my favorite people. And we had what I thought was a very entertaining, productive conversation. But first and foremost, I knew this. I want to get his thoughts. I'm not trying to get my thoughts to usurp his opinions. And the other thing that's really interesting is with Kyrie Irving having his own thoughts and viewpoints, whether you agree or disagree, what happened to more than an athlete? Does, does that not apply anymore? I mean, Kyrie Irving on certain issues, oh, oh he, he's more than an athlete. He should speak out and use his voice. Okay, but what about in this situation? Does that not apply? I mean, these individuals, these, this whole institution, they move goalposts more than Tennessee volunteer fans. It's ridiculous.